dogs. If you move it like me, then I'll If you walk on them, just give me Slack, come meet the walkers. If he moving like me, then I talk. He wanna be me with that boy and pause he broke. Just watch how I walk on it, beat and I float. Look double can get on that bitch and go crazy and slow this shit down and go fast. Don't fast no smoke more. about no rap. I'm still in the chop, slinging the pounds of dope. Jay calling my phone, say I need him to wake up. Half time, we got the block on so my nigga the hell of the wax and the odds come back. Alright, Zoo Gang, what it do? Before we start this video off, hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers, the more love I get, the more video I'm going to drop for y'all. The more I'm telling y'all. MLOs, chains, cars, props, animations, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to grind. Y'all got to grind with me. You know what I'm saying? It takes two seconds. Just tap that subscribe button. A lot of y'all have been asking me how to make a chain. A chain itself. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... I had a first little video on how to make a uh, how to make a pendant or outline the pendant, whatever the case was, and everybody watched that and liked that, and everybody wanted to know uh, well, how to make a chain itself. So, pretty much in this video, that's what I'm gonna go through. Make sure you hit that uh, like, share, subscribe. Let's get into it. First thing you're gonna want to do: start off by tapping uh, Shift A. And you're gonna want to bring out. You're gonna want to go to the option circle. After you tap circle, you're gonna want to grab circle all the way at the top. All the way at the top, can't miss it. Yep. So once you grab the circle, you're gonna want to look at it from side view. And then tab right into edit mode. Once you do that. Now that we're in edit mode, we're gonna tap on the center dot. This one center dot that's right here in the middle. Tap on that center dot. Tap R, and we're going to rotate it. Once it's rotated, tap that dot again. Rotate it once more, but the other way. Alright, and once we rotate it, we're going to uh, switch lanes. Different view. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to make, but we're going to make them wider. See what I'm saying? So you'll see right here. Wrong way, so we're going to switch back. Now you see how it's, got, it's getting wider? It's going more into like a figure eight. That's what we want. So we're going to get it as even as possible. Once we get as even as possible, uh, we can tab back and go right into object mode. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click that curve icon and go to geometry. And you're going to have to turn up the depth to at least 21 to 22. That's what I normally put it on. And it gets nice and thick to where you can start it. Once you do that, you stay in edit mode, you right click, right click outside of here, once you click, once you right click, you want to convert it to mesh. Yes, this is a voice over, because you see right here, I uh, tweaked a little bit, but yeah, right click in object mode, convert to mesh. Once you do that edit mode and then go into sculpting mode and then we have a box trim cutout option that's what we want that's what we want to use so grab that tool in sculpt mode and we're going to trim out the top of the cubing link to make it flat like a real cubing link bottom as well once that's all done go back now as y'all can see you see how the edges on it are real real hard on the top like if you look at it real close at the top the edges are like real pointy you know what i'm saying like right right there right here there so we're going to edit mode we're going to tap all the hard corners on this cuban link so each corner you see that's pointy on top of this cuban link you grab each corner you got to hold shift down while you're tabbing each poly it's only three on each side so you want to grab them three grab them three on the other side and you're going to want to right click and bevel verticals and as you see when you drag down it's going to add polys but it's not only going to add polys it's going to make the curves move see what it did that's exactly what you want now it's not pointing no more top of the round marks are curved 
So that's pretty much it on how you make a Cuban. Now it's a skinny, skinny Cuban. It's a broke boy's Cuban. So we're gonna make it a little thick. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's not a broke boy's Cuban. Now a lot of y'all do this. Y'all point. Y'all put normal, normal weight and weighted normal on and and automatic. Do not do that. Do not do that. If you, if you do this right, it's gonna come out how you want it to. Go to the array modifier. Hit the blue the blue tool hit the array modifier duplicate it and move it in about there go back into edit mode hit A hit Alt S I'm gonna make it thicker yeah so now it's not a broke boy Cuban so now you see it got nice and thick it's a nice looking Cuban we can go back into object mode and tab up pull out some more Cubans and now we got a decent looking Cuban Yes, sir. So basically, what we can do here is uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth in this video, just to show you how to make a Cuban Cuban link chain. That was really it. Rigging and everything else would be in a separate video, but uh, to get it around the pad at least, I'm gonna be. I just have the video run. I'm gonna continue to let the video run, and you can watch me while I go through this, cause I'm gonna cover this in a whole different video. Uh, of actually putting a chain around the neck and stuff like that but this is just the basics of how to make a cuban link chain so you at least have that down you know what i'm saying before you move to the next step so uh much love appreciate it guys uh like i said don't hurt the subscribe or any of that but uh yeah man y'all can sit back enjoy the video uh yeah I'm out. See you on the next one.